Cole Riney on the right playing that Lost Zone Toolbox deck. This one's going to be featuring Hoopa EX, Raikou, Iron Hands, Roaring Moon, and it's going to be a It is a party in one. there. Yeah. There's so much going on, and that is very exciting as Israel is going to have to figure out what is in the box. <laughs> Hopefully not what I think. <laughs> Well, Sosa is going to be playing the Hisuian Gudra V-Star along with the Arceus. It's a classic strategy that we've seen uh, in, a, in a way to just consistently set up uh, the Gudra. And sure, yeah, it's, I, it's relying on that opening and energy, but if, if you find that, you're doing pretty well. I don't know if you know, but I am an Arceus V-Star fan. Yeah, yeah, you're a, you're a Judge Path gamer. Well, guess what? It's gone. You, you only know. get Judge now. We, we get Judge uh, Pokemon League headquarters now. That's not nearly as cool. Oh, it's not. It sounds cooler <laughs> than Path, but, <laughs> but it is not. <laughs> Either way, that combo might be better against Gold. So uh, I'm sure Israel is excited to have that opportunity to show off what this deck is about. And looks like he's got some consistency in there, too. You see the 2 2 B roll in there. And our favorite, Squavit. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can't have an Arceus deck without Squavit. Sure you can. You just won't make it to day two. Taking a look at the prize cards here. Israel having a Spear Tomb, Vidoof, Hisuian Gudra V-Star, that Mist Energy, and two Ultra Ball. Ooh. And, oh, double Mirage Gate in the prizes along with four Seal Stone. Taking a look at the list. Uh, there is just the one four Seal Stone, so it's going to be a little bit rough. Yep dangerous information that we have that Cole will find out shortly enough about. It's going to be a good time. Two very interesting decks, two great players. Got an opportunity to lock in day two here in Orlando. All right, both our players are ready to go for our round nine here. A win and in scenario for both of these players, and Israel starts off with a squavit with a hero's cape. Oh <laughs> my goodness. <laughs> A Pokemon League headquarters and a pass. All right. Uh, classic Arceus? <laughs> this is exactly <laughs> what we expected going into this game. Wow. Yep. I mean, the fact that you can uh, put the, the cape back into the deck with Squub, it's kind of cool. But other than that, this is terrifying. How, how can you put it back in the deck with Does it go with you? What are you? Nice dash puts your hand into the deck. What am I talking about, bro? Where am <laughs> Pidgeot I? Pidgeot V, maybe? Yeah, that'd be cool. I, <laughs> there we go. That, that's what Nest Dash does if oh, you want to read it. Oh, man, it's been a minute. Anywho. Well, <laughs> but, it looks cool. It's got a cape. Buddy Buddy Poffin for Cole. Going to start things off nicely with a double Kumfe on the bench. That Radiant Greninja in the active spot. I'm going to take a quick look at those Pokemon energies in the deck. Make sure you know what you have access to for this turn here. That's a lot of play Pokemon stamps. Yeah. Shout out to going to your local league. This, uh, this could be you. Taking quick notes of those Mirage Gates that are in the prize cards. But I don't know how many notes you really need to take with a start like this from Sosa. Yeah. Uh, ultimately, you take a look at the, uh, the Roaring Moon there. You say, okay, uh, can we get the energies necessary to, to get the job done here? A couple... Darkness Energy would be fantastic, trying to load this Pokemon up to take a big knockout, but it takes a little bit of time, obviously. I'm going to work in the Colrus Experiment, start using your Comfes, and maybe maybe next turn we can threaten this uh, little Squavit. I don't know, next turn we could see a bite. Oh, man. <laughs> that's, that is a, that's a threat. Not, not the threat Sosa <laughs> wants, but that's, that's the one he can build. Fun fact about Israel... Uh, Took a red eye here, arrived at 6 a.m., and decided to play Arceus Gudra. Yeah, I mean, that's dedication to your craft. It's trying to get <laughs> another regional win. It's uh, certainly one way to go about that. Nest Ball does find the Cramorant, usually enough to take a knockout on that simple Squavit with four in the loss zone. Ooh. Taking a look at the list, uh, there is one loss vacuum. Yep, that's what I was looking for. That is a dangerous card. Obviously, it'd be really nice to see that for a seal stone, but we know that's in the prize card. It's going to make it a little more difficult to find the right resources, but things are aligning. Colrus experiment. All right, off.
off this Colrus Fountain. A few good cards for next turn, potentially. I know there is two switch in the hand already for Cole, so has access to both of those flower selectings and the switch card as well. So if the Lost Vacuum is found off these next two flower selectings, it is just game over, and we're going to a game two where hopefully Israel draws a little bit better. He's going to have to use a lot of switching outs for this turn, but you're going to be building up this Lost Zone where I think next turn you're going to kind of guarantee that Hoopa knockout yeah. if there is an Arceus. Certainly still playing to that Lost Vacuum here as an option. Couldn't you find it? Nope. No. Did find the Hoopa, though. Well, don't mind this. Certainly can still place that damage onto this Pokemon. Lost Vacuum oh, and then attack oh, oh, oh. next turn, but the top deck works out. Nest Ball off the top for Israel, and this is going to equal an Arceus V. We'll be able to stick around, at least with the way the hand's working out. It does look like a double turbo in hand, too. See, this is what Arceus needs. It's classic Arceus. It's just a turn late. <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is a classic Arceus, then, as it uh, has always potentially had these issues on stream for us. It's, 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 not, it's not nice to see. Trust me, it happens off stream as well. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, Pokemon League headquarters out. Arceus double turbo. I think we're just waiting a little bit. Yeah. Oh, we're going to go. Stash. We're going for it. All right, do we find the Charon's Care? No. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> Wow. All right, we're back in this. What a turn of events for Squavit. I think that also puts two Colrus's experiment on the bottom, at least one. And there is that Hisuian Gudra V. We can retreat and, uh, oh, no, you can't attack us the headquarters. Yeah. Stadiums. <laughs> hey, I thought Squavit was an Apalm, okay? <laughs> so <laughs> I, I think we're all out one. <laughs> Buddy, buddy, Poffin, going to search out another Comfey for Cole here. But more importantly, shuffling that deck, getting those Colrus's experiments mixed back in. I'm thinking about all those switching effects, too. We only saw oh, yeah. two, obviously, but there were a, a ton in the hand there. And this is one of those awkward spots about Lost Zone, uh, the Lost Zone boxes. When you attack with a Cramorant and it's knocked out, not knocked out instantly, you're like, oh, do I, do I just retreat and try again? Like, this, is, <laughs> this, is, this, this doesn't feel great. Is that vacuum? That is vacuum. Ooh. This feels pretty great. That's a free prize. Now Hero's Cape goes to the Lost Zone. That means the Squavit is knocked out with the damage on top of it. And yeah. Israel's forced to bring up that Gudra V. Yeah, and needs to play safe in this spot, but it's Ooh. not going to work with the Prime Catcher from bringing this Arceus V into the active spot. Cole's still on a mission. The Lost Zone is at five now. And this will be the sixth card added just inching closer to potential Mirage Gate shenanigans. Oh, that is an attachment for the turn, though, so it's going to be a lot harder to get a Hoopa play out of this. Flower Selecting does find a Colrus's Experiment, though, but gets rid of another Dark Energy. Just two left, and one's in the discard already. Finds the, the Hoopa, finds the Iron Hands EX, but... I don't know if there's a way to retreat out of this hand to even get damage with Cramorant. Yeah, we've already seen the retreat. I don't see any additional switching cards added to the hand. Radiant Greninja's already been used. And this might just be the pass of the turn. There is the counter stadium of the Artisan. Yep, that is just the pass of the turn. Not even using the Artisan That's, there. Yeah, a little suspicious. As Israel this is going to shuffle his deck and take a look at cards. Yeah. Potentially find a basic he likes. Bidoof. Squub it. No, that, that's in the discard. <laughs> a bomb. Can Squub it come back? <laughs> An Arceus V-Star from the hand. This is going to allow Israel to use that V-Star power Starbirth. Going to get two cards from the deck. That means the supporter most likely for the turn. And just actually being able to play Pokemon. That is very helpful in winning a game of Pokemon. 
thankfully does have supporter now to go along with this. And looks like actually thinking about a couple things there. Eerie Ooh. and a follow-up supporter for next turn. That is a two super odd cool, going cool. to the discard. If energies were hard to come by earlier, <laughs> it's gonna be difficult now. We already see plenty of uh, interesting attackers in the Lost Zone, those dark energies you spoke about earlier, and it just gets more difficult as you see the headquarters played back down. This is a fully loaded Hisui and Gudra. Actually just gonna go for the two energies here. And important to note too, Israel knows about the Hoopa now. So you can play around that. Granted, there's not much to play around with all the dark energy basically gone, but it is very important knowledge to have. Yeah, I mean, we, we need to see the, the dark energy pulled from the discard pile. The other one is in hand. That means there's no acceleration by way of Mirage Gate, but two of those are already in the prize cards. How do you accelerate to this Pokemon? Well, there's a Mirage Gate off the concealed cards, but really needing a Super Rod right now. <laughs> wow, I wonder where those <laughs> went. Still going to be the play. All right, this unless there's a deck list error. <laughs> yep, that's uh, that was tough news. Still attaching the water because you need the extra one to take or to be able to attack because of that Pokemon League headquarters. Okay, we're going to see a flower selecting. Colors' experiment found. There's only one Super Odd left in the deck, one in the Lost Zone. Oh, that is so tough. Yeah, I think the odds to potentially find the right cards in the spot already tricky. Colors Experiment is going to try to find it. There's the last Mirage Gate. If you don't include the ones already prized, no Super Rod to go along with it. In your attack, it's, it's Cramorant at this point. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's not very good. It doesn't line up well against Arceus V-Star. Another energy to the Lost Zone to go along with it. There's that rescue board retreat to the Cramorant. It's going to be able to attack thanks to Lost Provisions. 110 damage. But this is the spot Israel wants to be in. Has the Ultra Ball for that Hisui and Gudra V-Star or something like that B-Barrel. You know, with the Iono in hand as well. You can see the hand disruption after the big refill from the Colrus experiment. So potential just to focus on your, your main attackers in this point. And you have that Hisui and Gudra ready to roll, to retreat this Pokemon. And you have the option to go for hand disruption or aggression. And look Ooh. at this. We do not like Oopas. It's not going to be a knockout. Rolling Iron only does 200 damage. Hoopa having 220 HP, but just applying that pressure. And how is Cole going to knock out the Sasui and Gudra V-Star? Yeah, I mean, you're, you're talking about the, the Hoopa potentially trying to deal uh, enough damage with the Iron Crush to help out, but you're not knocking this Pokemon out in any sense of the word. And you, you don't have any uh, additional energies to go along with this. It's, it's Super Rod or Bust at this point, and we can't find it. There is a switch cart. Heals 30 off the Hoopa. Flower selecting does. Oh, no, that's a Nest Ball. <laughs> I saw an a item with that little play stamp, and I was like, Super Rod? That is 30 items of this deck look like that. <laughs> Nest Ball goes to the Lost Zone. Cold grabs that Mew EX. I don't even know if there's just energy for Cold to attack with anything there are left. six cards left in deck. I don't know if there's a legitimate attack option for Cole through these six cards left in the deck. Hey, it there's, is there's spit a, innocently. Yeah, for 30. Is that good? Not right now. Wow, that's, that's good. good. <laughs> 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 Top deck of the B-Barrel. Industrious Incisors drawing up to five cards. Boss's Orders brings oh. up the Hoopa. And I think we're going to see a pretty decisive end to this game one after the crazy start that Israel had. This is a dominant performance. The only thing you could see potentially coming into play here would be a Roaring Moon, and 
accelerating those final dark energies, but how do you get through all of these potential issues right. along with the headquarters to go with it? Cole did draw that last super rod from the deck. Going to have to shuffle in both of the dark energies. Can I have all of those energies? <laughs> yeah, where's energy recycler when you need it? Ops to only put one of the dark back. So I don't think Rory Moon's going to be an option here. Mew? Are we going to rolling iron back the Gudra? Anything you can do. All right, I think that's what's going on. Unless you want to boss's orders the like V-Barrel and Tail Smash. I mean, we've seen multiple bosses orders from Israel already, so playing around the, the damage reduction is going to be pretty difficult. Oh, we got the Iron Bundle here. Ooh. Iron Bundle is going to move that Hisuian Gudra to the bench, and then a boss's orders is going to allow Cole to bring it back up, and that gets rid of that rolling iron effect. Of course, we've already seen the V-Star power from the Arceus, so Moisture Star is not going to come into play and the threat has been identified. All right, I think the, the last part here is, I don't know if Cole has access to the last energy. We're going to have a retreat to the Kumfei. Flower selecting, finds a switch, and then I think that Roaring Moon, there's just supporters in the hand. You have another switch card, but you've already retreated, and we're going to go to game two here. Wow. That was all over the place. I don't even know <laughs> if you could get through the, the league headquarters yeah, at that point, too. There was so much <laughs> going against Cole there. His deck did not want to cooperate. It had the ability to if you draw the cards in the right order, but we saw so many dark energies hitting the lost zone, and then the prizes were stacked against him, too. But, and uh, that eerie, too. Discarding both of the super odds. Great, that was the turning point. moment of this game. Yeah, terrifying spot to be in. And uh, Israel feeling pretty confident there. Quick 15-minute game after you started Squuff It with a cape. <laughs> and an energy. Don't forget the energy. I'm going to forget the energy. Cole did find that lost vacuum to get that free prize on turn two, but opted to go for building up the lost zone with the switching or the retreat and flower selecting. Did not find another switch out to get more damage with Cramorant. That opened up the board for Sosa with that Arceus V-Star and able to just take control of the game, finally charging up that Assyrian Gudra V-Star, getting rid of the only threat of an attacker in that Hoopa EX. And just unfortunately, Cole was not able to get any attack going other than that Cramorant. Right. This was a great example of uh, a player who understands how to work around threats and uh, continue to present your own threats in these situations. You may not know the matchup. This is pretty obscure to run into the Lost Zone Hoopa variant with uh, some additional uh, uh, lightning, darkness, whatever it may be. There's so many different attackers in this deck. But you ultimately know what your strategy is, and you can identify threats and remove them and, as you see them. And as simple as that was, that's all Israel really needed to do in order to come up with a victory there in game one. Taking a look at the prize cards. A little bit better for both of these players here. The one of Sableye, I guess, is the keynote for Cole. But him and his favorite Pokemon, Turtwig, are going to have to try to oh, have, a, have a good match this No. <laughs> Deja what? vu? Triple Whoa. Nest Ball. <laughs> hey, calm down. Have you heard of the Buddy Buddy Poffin that just came out? It's pretty good. Uh, we can see... Pretty much a mirror of game one, except without that buff of the hero's cape. I guess the one benefit for Israel is that Cole started the Cramorant. Yeah, but we saw a ton of switching effects in Cole's deck. And if it looks anything like the opener for game one, already see a switch in hand. Was that, was he even eyeing up Mew as an option? This might, this hand might play all the way down for restart to be a way to close out here too. There's a switch, there's a couple Pokemon and an energy, I believe. So Cole still needs to find Colors' experiment to get things going, but has the opportunity to maybe look at the top few cards with fire selecting. Still plenty of time, so no rush there for Cole. Just 
Had a good understanding of what is in the prize cards here, even though there is an opportunity to win on this opening turn. Israel just doing Arceus things time and time again. <laughs> Arceus <laughs> things? That is a Spiritomb with a mist energy, man. <laughs> We're going to see a top deck Nest Ball again. Okay. Get the Arceus. And, you know, ho hope to... I think he's going to judge, there. see no Pokemon, and then fade out. <laughs> Hey, save enough time for game three. That's you know right. what I mean? That's, that is the classic Sableisle strategy of, uh, of playing on stream. There, I've never played a game two in my life. <laughs> All right, this triple nest ball from Cole finds two Comfey and that Radiant Greninja. We already know there's an energy in hand for this concealed cards. Yep, more standard approach. Go for the Radiant Greninja while you have the energy in hand and continue to draw as opposed to going for the Mew there. And we found another Switch and a Mirage Gate here, so that Switch is going to be pretty beneficial. Course Experiment, obviously the big ticket item here. Buddy Buddy Poffin, and then I think a Pokemon. Looks like that Comfey. Additional thinning can be done. And this is where we'll see how dedicated Cole is to this opening turn. If you, <laughs> I guess you could fill up the board and try to get a ton of 70 hit point Pokemon down, but do you want to leave a space open to potentially find Mew and restart and draw a little more, maybe find the chorus? Second switch for the second Comfey here. Chorus's experiment does not look like it. Artisan. And just like that, we have a pass wow. of the turn. Israel draws oh, uh, no. Pokemon League headquarters. <laughs> all right, oh, we got a professor's going research. Away need a basic Pokemon here in order to right, play well, we found a couple. plenty. Not betching the Squavit there. And passes the turn back to Cole. Finds another Mirage Gate. This hand's not even that good. Needs help with this flower selecting. Super Odd Colors' experiment. Found it, but a turn too late. Still going to be the best option for him. Search some tough calls. Yeah. Hoopa, Dark Energy, Prime Catcher, Mirage, Mirage Gate, and Gate. Rescue Board. Can we just swap hands, maybe? <laughs> I don't think you're welcome back on stream if you do that. <laughs> I already got two of the cards wanted, it seems like, but it seems like those might actually go to the Law Zone. Yep, Mirage Gate and Hoopa EX. Who needs it? I mean, think about how close Cole is to knocking out Arceus V in this spot. Mm -hmm. Hoopa Mirage Gate, Prime Catcher to move and promote the Comfe. That's the sixth card in the Law Zone. It's, I mean, it was almost already done right there. And with the Rescue Board. But he just, just couldn't keep all the cards. Another was, dark was, energy found. Dark and the psychic. I was about to say, there's a possibility where we could see like a roaring moon knockout on the Arceus. But again, with that Pokemon League headquarters, you're going to need four energy, but you need one more card in the Lost Zone. This last Comfey is going to be able to provide that. Finds the Lost Vacuum, but has to get rid Switch of it for Switch card. card. I think this is actually enough. Has wow. the Stadium Bump, Roaring Moon, Energy. And this Mirage is Gate. this is frenzied gouging as well. This is uh, or excuse me, calamity storm as opposed to frenzied gouging, which is so crucial in to hold on to those hit points. Sure, you're going to remove the artisan. You had to because you have to remove the league headquarters so that you can perform the attack. But talk about a turn two here to knock out this Arceus after uh, such an unfortunate draw there to miss the turn one. Pulling I, I think everything you take this. together. Now Israel is left with pretty much nothing. You got that Eerie in hand. I don't even know if there's items to discard. I guess, okay, there's that Mirage Gate. Pal pad, but Israel's going to keep playing this. Hope to draw a supporter off Nest Dash, maybe. But even then, you don't have an Arceus to charge up. You don't have energy on Gudra. Yeah, this is 
a really tough spot to draw out of. Squavit is going to try its best. Maybe there's a magical card on top. And that's ball. But again, no energy in play. As an Arceus deck, this is going to be a while before you start attacking. All right, the bare minimum requirement of Arceus V in play is accomplished. But without the energy to go along with it, it's without a hand, pretty useless. Oh, you like playing Pokemon with a hand? <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> You're watching the wrong game, buddy. Meanwhile, Cole draws a Chorus's experiment. Going to be great to open this board up a little bit, but eyeing it down, something like a boss's orders to really seal things up. I'm checking the list, just the one of boss. Can potentially be a difficult card to find. And looks like Colrus is already being eyed up, understandably so. Oh, oh wow. there's the boss's orders. It was, it was pretty close. <laughs> yeah, I think you keep the boss's orders, get rid of that rock sand. Israel's not taking prizes anytime soon. Now the options between a couple super rods and a switch card. I mean, at this point, for Cole, you're, you've already you played a 15-minute game one, which you, you lost. You're in a spot where you're, you're pretty favored at this point, but you, I feel like you really want to focus on playing quickly here just to give yourself a great opportunity yeah. to, to have a full game three. So even if they're not the ideal lines, just throw cards and go at this point. You should be able to beat whatever Israel is able to come up with in the next few turns. Yeah, remember, this is a win and in, but it's just that, a win and in. It's not a tie and in. Both players at five, a one and two record. Now, Cole did switch to the Comfey with the rescue board and then brought out the Cramorant. Just get that free knockout on that Spirit Tomb while you can save that Roaring Moon from any potential damage. And... With Nestash, you have to put a card to the bottom, so just redoing the draw. Nest ball is not going to do it, and we're going to a game three here in round nine. Yep. Not the way that Israel drew it up there, obviously. He's had some pretty ridiculous starts in this uh, this match. But with 25 minutes left, both players looking primed and ready to give us a great performance in game three. Maybe we see both decks actually set up, play Maybe. Pokemon. Maybe. I was a little worried there uh, that the game would have lasted a little bit longer. Yes. And then both of these players would not have enough time for game three. But with 25 minutes going in, got your shuffling, got your prizes and mulligans, should it be enough time for a good game. See if the good luck Turtwig is able to do its job and help out here. Cole looking for one more win in order to make it into day two here in Orlando. All right, we're not even going to show the Spear Tomb pass, but uh, just a quick powering up of that Roaring Moon has the last switch out. Get it to the active spot with that Prime Catcher bringing up that Arceus V, taking the knockout with Calamity Storm, and then just having the knockout with the Cramorant, saving that Roaring Moon for a potential knockout on something else. And after Israel just redrawing off this Nestash, not finding anything. You know, I'm calling it now. This game three, it's a lone Arceus start with an energy. I don't know what you're calling, but I see Whoa. double Colrus, double Iono. I don't, I don't like the way this looks. I think Cole would be a lot more disappointed than Israel right now, and especially when you look at this opener. Oh boy, doing Arceus things. Arceus V in the active spot, double Nest Ball finds that B do finds another Arceus. Israel has an energy. This is like the best start you could possibly have. That is literally <laughs> all you ask for with this deck. Oh my goodness, the hand actually is gas. There's, uh, I believe, Arceus V Star and the Beeberl as well. Oh wow, yeah. We're, we're gonna have a game here, I think, maybe. I mean, this is all up to Cole at this point. <laughs> Let's see what he's able to come up with. There's a, there's a Nest Ball, there's a Cramorant, there's Radiant Greninja with an energy. Not too bad. Course. Need to find one of those courses from the prizes. Got to thin these basic Pokemon out first. It is vital to find Cole's experiment, and Cole is going to get the bad news. But, uh, there are not many. Two Cole's experiment to work with. That's not a lot. It's less than four. It's more than zero. Quick maths. All right, taking a look at the deck is going to get that bad news potentially. Most of the time when you're looking through for your prize cards, 
You want to know the Pokemon. You want to know the energy. You want, do you check for Cole's experiment, too? You'd hope so. I, I, I would. <laughs> that's, that's usually why a lot of players oh, okay, tend to we're use uh, full arts. That's a pretty card. That's a pretty card, and I'm gone. in danger. <laughs> and for Israel, that can be a, a point, too, where you see your opponent just pop three cards up, and you wonder, what? Three cards are they looking at? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you tend to get a little bit of a read, especially if we don't see a supporter on the opening turn. You, you, you might have information that playing aggressive could, could win this thing quick. Nesball does find a second come phase, so we're going to start seeing these powerful abilities from these Pokemon, concealed cards, and flower selecting. Gonna see the concealed cards first. Get the most information possible before having to do a decision. Switch and another come phase. All so right. let's spin the wheel a little bit here. Flower selecting, looking at the top two. Nest ball water energy. I don't know if either of those are good right now. Well, I guess maybe Nest Ball for a Mew to restart if you really need to dig. Right. And could be helpful here, but we we're just building our own cohorts at this point, slowly but surely with switching effects and come phase, flower selecting left and right, trying to find the resources. This would be an absolutely crucial draw to find the cohorts experiment here. How Not about yet. energy buddy buddy poffin? Well, Israel was praying for that moment. So please just pass the turn. Oh, wow. Because I've got a hand. Another nest ball for Israel as well. Can search out Something like a second Bidoof or the Squavip. Yeah, I honestly don't mind either one at this point. You could put the Super Rod back into the deck and not worry about it anymore, or you could try to just go for a little more consistency here with the Bidoof. And oh, find double the turbo. Double turbo. And the Eerie as well. This is going to be a great turn from Israel. What do we get a discard? All right, just a Mirage Gate and an S Ball, but it's two cards out of the hand for Cole. Yeah, just, I mean, look at this. This is a knockout on Comfe, no switching effects in hand. Radiant Greninja is going to be the, the bailout button to maybe draw out of this. But if you're Cole, you're, you're really struggling to, to find a way to attack next turn that, with something that isn't just Cramorant. It needs to be Cole's experiment off these next few cards on the top of the deck. How about a switch that, that continues it a little bit? That's exactly what we're looking for is uh, if it's not going to be the Colrus experiment, let it be another way to continue to dig. Counter catcher. It is a card that's live now. Last flower selecting here. I'm yeah, not sure if I like this before the Radiant Greninja. Two energy off the top. But I guess valued that dark energy in hand. Does find another energy, so can throw this away now. Let's draw two more cards. Will we ever see a supporter? Nest Ball Dark Energy, no. And this is the detriment of having those supporters in the prize cards. Gonna have to go with another Comfe here. Yep, no fault of Cole, just unfortunate. You build your deck in a way where you hope that with these initial draws seeing potentially nine cards on a turn with three come phase rating credential and draw for the turn that maybe you just find a supporter and it's just not meant to be. We do see the counter catcher. Cole was eyeing down that swing good your V, but decided to do that B barrel. It's not gonna be stuck for long though. Israel does have access to Starbirth if he chooses. Try to get that to retreat Pokemon out of the active spot. Can you imagine a game where you don't have to use that, though, and you could hold on to your V-Star? We get to say Moisture Star. For Moisture Star. Yeah. In Orlando 2024. Whew. Who would have thought? <laughs> Not me. Israel has an Ultra Ball with two water energies. Can go ahead and do that, and then Super Rod back the waters. Just thin the hand down so you can use Industrious Incisors as much as you want. Most likely going to find that second B-barrel here. I guess you can also go for the Gudra. Second B-barrel might be prized. Well, this way we do see 
the main attacker of the deck after that Arceus. You work your way towards that Gudra V-Star and try to continue to use Rolling Iron, put pressure on your opponent. If you can do that in combination with that Mist Energy, <laughs> you're a dangerous Pokemon. We've already seen plenty of resources lost for Cole in order to combat that. The counter catcher already down. Prime catcher in combination with the boss seems Ooh, we found very far-fetched. We do see that Starbirth from Israel is going to be able to search out that Mist Energy, which is ever so important when your opponent is playing something like that Roaring Mooney X. I didn't see the last card, but like Turo. Ooh. That's pretty good for using uh, Industrious Incisors again, too. Yep. And this lines up pretty nicely. Israel is going to remove as many energies in play as he can to play oh, around the so Hoopa. Good. He's a legend. And that's something a lot of players might overthink. And just leaving the energies on that Arceus. I so you think can they'd underthink it. <laughs> <laughs> they choose not to think about those things. Roaring Moon drawn off the top for Cole here. Reminder, Cole is now at five cards in the Lost Zone. He's going to likely go for that sixth card with the Flower Selecting. First, starts off with the Radiant Greninja. This is still with zero supporters played this game. And still does not have a Cole's Experiment. Again, Flower Selecting does not prove fruitful here. And I don't know if you There's can even... even a switch it yeah, in. Yeah, it's... A oh, pass. Bundle to force Israel to retreat more energy off the field. <laughs> Said sure. <laughs> He's just got the switch and the double turbo in hand. Everything going Israel's way here. <laughs> he says, man. See the other three cards that you were trying to count? This is where I put my Colrus experiments. <laughs> if I had one. <laughs> Oh, no, they're going no. to the top. <laughs> they're going back to the top. <laughs> this is not looking good for Cole here. And Israel is in full control of this game. Has another Eerie, too. This is, ha, my hand stinks. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, my hand stinks. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not good at all. We do see that switch from Israel brings up that Estonian Kudra V-Star. Wow. Palpad going to shuffle back in a couple supporters. This is just good for Kudra fans. This, this is great for All Gujar two of them fans. out there. <laughs> they are losing their minds. <laughs> this is, I mean, how do you defeat this? You're staring down a three prize card deficit, missed energy Rolling Iron Gudra, I'm, and the headquarters is in play, and you have a four-card hand of trash. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I want to think about trying to defeat this. I just want to play a Kohler's experiment. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's for the moral <laughs> victory at this point. Where are you, buddy? Still nothing here. A, is that the Mew? Prime no, catcher. No, it's a Prime catcher. It's all pink. The other pink one. Got excited. <laughs> yeah, this is no energy to conceal cards away. We're asking for a lot here. And we're giving a little. We can go for another Kumpe and then Prime Catcher yeah, to it. Yeah, I think that's exactly <laughs> what's going to happen here. Maybe grab the Cramorant and deal some damage again. Do whatever you want, Cole. <laughs> we're just here to watch. <laughs> that means two... Dark energies are back in the deck from that super rod. Cole's going to be forced to use this prime catcher, bring up B-Barrel yet again. But Israel shuffled back in that Professor Turo scenario into the deck with Palpad. And still has access to one more switch, double turbos. Yep, Ultra Ball in hand too. Double B-Barrel. Oh, wow, this sand is insane. <laughs> has the retreat <laughs> all ready to go with the double turbo. This ends very well. For Sosa fans. Finds another switch off of this Industrious Incisors. There we see another Ultra Ball. Just thin the hand down so you can just draw even more cards. Listen, it's 2024 and Arceus V-Star is alive and well, Kyle. In this one instance, I'll <laughs> agree with you. <laughs> That's it. Rolling iron for the knockout. Israel just has two prize cards left. A cold six. 
And that is another Pokemon off the top of the deck. Is that a hand or a trade binder? All I see are <laughs> V's and EX's. <laughs> Sableye fetch out of the deck with the Artizone here. And Cole's going to have one flower selecting left to be able to find a course's experiment to act like he was playing the game this, <laughs> this game three. I mean, you, you play to your outs. Where the is the it? psychic energy is the out, and you have to throw away the switch card. But you would just hope to leave the B roll the active and throw Still damage around nothing. with the Sableye. This is unbelievable. Lost vacuum to get rid of the own Artisone. Now you're over 10, but you have no energy, no supporters, no, no items. You got a bunch of Pokemon in your hand. Oh, there's a switch card. Okay. We got a Cramoran attack. <laughs> it's like, wait, where'd that psychic energy go? Oh, man. I'm going to lose. 30 Spit innocently damage. for 30. Oh, we see the Turo off the top for Israel here. has everything in hand. Yep, you got plenty of time. You're down to two prize cards, so comfortably you assume that this game can finish. So take a minute here and try to calculate if there's anything you need to do to make 98 into 99, 99 into 100. Get all of those percentage points locked in to give yourself a day two. I like just saving it. Save the percentage points or the Turo? <laughs> <laughs> the Turo. <laughs> Israel does opt to get rid of that liability on the bench. And there is a rolling iron yet again. Draws a card. Super rod. All right, are we going to see the Colors' experiment? One time. Oh! It's here! Woo! We did it. Claps all around. That's got to feel good if you're Cole. <laughs> <laughs> top, top deck. deck. Huge find. <laughs> and it leads to a handshake. Congratulations to Israel Sosa, our first player of round nine to officially move into day two for us here. What, Doing what a it. weird set. Doing it with Arceus V-Star, Hisuian Gudra V-Star. And uh, honestly, I wouldn't have it any other way, right? I don't, uh, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to 